Sliding door hardware is a great space-saving alternative and can be used on virtually any wooden interior door, but the overall installation will take on its own custom nature for each individual project. The instructions provided in this video are meant to serve as a guide for your own custom application. We'll start by prepping the door to install the brackets. First, measure your door thickness and find your center line. Then measure a minimum of 3 inches in from the edge of the door and mark your on-center dimensions for your bracket across the center line at 2 and 1 8 inches apart on center. Clearly mark or punch your hole positions to make sure you are lined up with the bracket and ready to drill. You may want to drill pilot holes with a smaller bit before making your final 5 16 inch diameter opening. Insert your threaded inserts into the 5 16 inch diameter opening and use the 6mm hex key provided to tighten down. Repeat these steps for both inserts. Next, apply your door bracket and fasten the screws into the threaded inserts to lock into place. Repeat these steps for the bracket on the other side and the hardware for the top of the door will be complete. Next we will move on to the back-to-back -back door handles. Determine which side you want your door handles to be on, then mark your position for the handles at least 3 inches in from the edge and 11 and 13 16 inches apart on center. Remember, it never hurts to measure twice, cut once. Mark or punch your hole positions for drilling. The hole cut is 9 16 of an inch in diameter, but depending on your door type, you may want to slowly widen the opening as shown here through a series of smaller cuts before using the 9 16 drill bit. Now to install the handle. Apply the pin with the washer from underneath through either of the openings, then insert a washer over the bolt on the other side and secure the handle in place. Tighten the nut from below into the handle above and then use the 5mm hex key provided to tighten all the way down. Repeat these steps for both posts. To install the back-to-back -back handles, apply the handle over the nuts from the other handle on the opposite side and tighten down the set screw on both posts. Now moving on to prep the door for the floor bracket. The floor guide keeps the door in line and prevents it from swinging and hitting the wall. This bracket is fastened to the floor, but for the door to be able to glide over the floor guide, you'll need to route out the bottom of the door. Use a router to make a channel that is 9 30 seconds of an inch wide and 25 30 seconds of an inch deep so the door can pass freely over the posts. And after we clear the channel of any loose particles, we'll go ahead and make a second cut to clean up any rough edges. Note there is also an optional C bracket that can be used on the floor in lieu of the routing option that serves the same function. The C bracket option is sold separately. For this version, the door slides through the bracket without having to make any cuts in the door. To prep the wall for the hardware installation, first you'll need to measure for your brackets. The door needs 13 30 seconds of an inch clearance above the floor to pass over the floor guide, so we'll take that into consideration for our overall height. Add 2 inches to the 13 30 seconds of an inch off the floor for a total of 2 and 13 30 seconds inches plus the door height. Once you have your initial mark, you'll want to use a level to mark your other mounting positions. As for the spacing between brackets, just be sure to space evenly and mount into studs or wood blocking. Mark or punch your hole and drill at 5 16 inch diameter. Assemble the bracket with a nylon washer and back plate and insert your wood screw through the center opening for mounting. Before installing into the wall, apply the molly provided into the wall to accept the screw. Insert the screw into the molly and tighten down the whole assembly. Be sure to center the bracket before tightening all the way down. Repeat these steps for all four mounting brackets, remembering to space them evenly into studs or wood blocking. Next, assemble the plastic fitting and the faceplate and mount with the threaded bolt and hex key through the opening. You won't need to tighten all the way down until you're ready to insert your rail.
Once you have all your brackets in place, drop in the rail and tighten down the face plates on all four brackets with the hex key provided. Hang the door on the rail and make sure everything is operating smoothly, then we will adjust the door stops. Slide the stopper over the end of the rail to your desired location and tighten down. Note that one of the stoppers will actually need to be on the inside of the outermost wall bracket based on the recommended door size and the distance of the door bracket to the edge of the door, so it will actually have to be applied before hanging the rail over the wall brackets. With your door stops in place, test your door to ensure it slides smoothly back and forth and your installation is complete.